throughout my career, the vast majority, of, particularly our most successful investments, have been ones that have been controversial in one way or another. Activism is a shareholder who behaves like an owner. People call these hostile bids. It's, it's not hostile to the shareholders of these companies. It's only hostile because it's not something that management of the target company has requested. I think to decide to take on a 34-year-old pyramid scheme and call a company a pyramid scheme publicly, there's some boldness associated with that. We shorted the credit of a AAA-rated company, uh, MBIA. You could say that's a bold call, calling a AAA-rated company insolvent, but we did it. We bought the stock of a company called General Growth when it hit 34 cents down from $34 a share, people just don't make money or hadn't until that point in time made money buying the stock of a bankrupt company. It's been 110, 15 times uh, profit multiple of the original investment. We like businesses that we call them simple, predictable, free cash flow generative, dominant companies, businesses with a moat around them. And the way we make these decisions is we do our analysis. And then we look for a company you can buy at a very deep discount to what it's worth. And if the discount is a management issue, a strategy issue, a cost structure issue, a hidden asset issue, a problem that we can solve. And then we work to solve the problem. Richard Rainwater is one of the great investors of all time. He came to speak at Harvard Business School when I was a student. I was thinking about starting my own investment firm, uh, and I said, I asked Richard what he thought of the idea. He said, you know, Bill, you don't need to be old to be right. That was enough for me, and I started an investment fund when I graduated at 26. What we do for a living, I think buying stakes in companies and working to make them more valuable, more efficient, more effective, I think it's great for the shareholders. I think it's great for the employees. I think I can do some good with that, and then it's also very profitable and I think that's why I like my day job.